Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Asda haul. Now this is a restock of my pantry. My two girls have moved out. As you know, Hayley was here. She she fairly emptied me a uh, pantry when she was moving out, which I don't mind, in fairness to her. Um, and we were also doing our challenge where we were keeping our food budget, trying to keep our food budget below 50 euro a week. Um, so we were using up the pantry that way. So I had to do a bit of a restock. Um, is it a big restock? Not really. Um, it'll probably, I probably will start doing one monthly where we just sort of do a big shop and then a couple of small shops during the month because I think I can keep a handle on it better. I don't know. I'm sort of trying to figure out because I know my heating and my electricity bills are going to go up to the roof, sorry, over the winter so I'm trying to keep my food under control I'm trying to just cut everything down as low as I can I probably could go lower I mean who are we kidding but I'm trying to keep my food so maybe a one-off food shop of like 200 euros and then just bare top up of what we need um each week after that I don't know I haven't figured it out yet I mean I never figure things out till I'm in the middle of doing them and then I go oh that's what I'm doing so these are some things that one, most things are a restock. Some of the things are because I just can't get them down here and I can only get them in Northern Ireland. Um, trying to think, but yeah, so I will show you, I'll go through each item and I will give you the price on screen. It'll be in sterling and also in Euro. Um, just for myself, I know that I don't know the conversion exactly of it. I know what the bill came to and what the bill came out as. But it'd be just interesting to see. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to start down this end because we all know that um, medicines, excuse me, up in Northern Ireland are a lot cheaper. Now, I did get paracetamol and ibuprofen and the dual mix, and I've already given them to put them away. So I have these left out. So I thought these were the least, ex uh, I don't want to get copyrighted or kicked out or a warner, you know yourself. So I got these, these are the caffeine and glucose, extra energy, handy when you're dying of the flu or you have a heavy cold and you need extra energy. That's what how I use them. Um, but yeah, there's 40 tablets and I got two packets. As I said, when you have the flu and stuff and you just need that extra energy just to get through your day, they I find these absolutely brilliant. Again, I'm not a doctor. I just pick them up for myself. I got this. Carl finds this very, very helpful. I don't think it's that good, but Carl loves this. It's the sinus relief and it is a nasal spray. And he said that that works wonders. Maybe I take it too late when they're too blocked that I can't get through. I'm not sure. But I picked this up anyway. I also got the anti-diarrhea capsules because everybody knows stress, anxiety, and then just plain old gastro. They're always handy to have. No matter where you are, I always keep actually these a packet of these emodium in the car. These are the equivalent to emodium, but I always keep a pack in the car because you never know. <laughs> when nerves, stress, anxiety, everything you just get the better of you. Or you go for a dodgy lunch. So always handy to have. I also got these which are the Feminex Express targeted period pain. Um, the this ibuprofen and Linsen, lin, lin, Listine, whatever it's called, they're actually the same as what the Nurofen have in their migraine tablets, and a hell of a lot cheaper. So picked up a pack of them. I also picked this flare cream it's actually for very dry skin the middle of my forehead gets very 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 dry um and i always found that this brand double base just works wonders it's very good very very good so then i picked up this glade essential i got this from my haul and it is warm apple crumble so you know you can do the sniffins test thing. So it smelled lovely. It smelled in the shop, absolutely gorgeous. 
So I picked up one of them. And I also picked this up for my bedroom. It is the Febreze Vanilla Cup Cookie. And it's the three cents, the Revolution. Revolutions? Revolutions? Anyway, you know what I mean. So, picked that up. And I just thought the Vanilla Cookie would be a nice smell in the room. I also picked up, now I am not a wine drinker per se. I do like martini um, and I like brandy, specifically Remy Martin XOXO. Um, but I was looking for a very sweet, dry wine to have sort of of an evening with some white lemonade. And this one came highly recommended. So Haley actually picked this up for me. And it's crisp and fruity white wine. So I liked it. There was no aftertaste on it. We did try it. Now look, we barely took some between myself and Haley, So I got a bottle of that. Also got a bottle now. I like Remy Martin. And I... Sorry, not Remy Martin. It's not my Remy Martin. I love Remy Martin. XOXO. But I didn't buy that. Because 40 euros a bottle. I bought a martini. Now, I like martini. Um, I like martini with white lemonade. I like martini rosé with white lemonade. Um, so I decided I would give this. This is sparkling. Sorry, martini. And it's the A-S-T-I one. It's only 7.5 alcohol. So it's like a sparkling wine. But yeah, I thought I'd try that. You might even keep it up for Christmas. Don't know yet. But yeah, got myself one of them. I needed some of the washing powder for my clothes. Because I actually had two huge big tubs of it. Not tubs, liquid. You know the one that's like 50, 60 washes in them? Both of them are gone. So I thought, right. So we try this. The Tropical triple Capsule. Cleans clothes, removes stains and freshens. 36 washes. So we give that a go, see how we get on with that. I also got a cherry multi-surface cleaning spray, antibacterial, actually smells lovely. And I really like that one. So that's Asda's own brand. So then I got for the dog, oh, I got crunchy pig's ears. So that was good boy. Crunchy pig's ears. Keeps your dog busy for a while. Not a whole lot when he's about the size of my Tony's. But anyway, I've already given him one of them last night while I was trying to watch the match. So there's one left there. Then I got a softy white bread. It's Irwin's white bread. That was half a loaf. <laughs> you can see we had dinner last night and we had breakfast this morning. So there's a half a loaf left. But I knew we had none at home, so I had to bring some home. So I got that. I got the, I love these. I haven't seen these, nor have I eaten them since I came back from Spain. They are a fruit cake. It's like a Madeira cake with glazed fruit pieces in it. They're good. I used to eat them all the time in Spain. I used to love them. Um, that with a glass of milk. Gorgeous. But I haven't seen them and I saw them up actually on there. I don't know what aisle it was. But anyway, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I got myself a pack of them. There's seven individually wrapped pieces in it. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is the muti sauce that I cannot get down here. I can only get it up in Northern Ireland. And I, have, well, I haven't tried anywhere else bar Asda. So it is the... Tomato with chili pepper pasta sauce and it is absolutely gorgeous. I do add a bit more extra chili, but oh my god, absolutely divine. So I got two of them to keep us going. I also got this hazel hazelnut chocolate spread and it's a 750 gram jar. It's huge. Um well, obviously, Carol Boots to that. I know I have two in there already that aren't opened. But, yeah. I can never have too much chocolate spread in. Then here I got the 
lactose-free semi-skimmed long life milk. Now this doesn't have to be refrigerated, it's long life. The date on that is the 4th of the 2nd, 2024. So I'm actually going to put them in my cover. They're just handy to have, you know. Nice backup milk. So I got two of them. I also got four of the Mawadi blackcurrant with added vitamin B and D. Zero sugar in it because Carlo's drinking this. But if he's going to drink it, he may as well drink no sugar. So I got him four of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is my for my pantry really. Well, most of all this is but this is one of the things I wanted to get I know you can get them down here but I wanted to grab up some while I was up there anyway so it's the baked beans and sausage it's actually funny I showed this to Karen he went oh my god when we were in junior school you used to put them on toast when we came in from school and I was like yeah I said I remember them I love them and yeah hardly bought them because I thought you didn't like them but hey ho, so I got him the baked beans and sausage. I got him two of the spaghetti hoops and sausage. Again, thrown on toast, anything, these are absolutely gorgeous. I got myself the beef ravioli because Carl wouldn't eat that. So, yeah, I'm happy out with that. I also got a chicken korma in a tin <clears throat> because I just want to have it in just in case. You know yourself have that in. I also got two of the chicken meatballs in a tomato sauce so I got two tins of this. My kids love these with rice so I got two tins of that again just to have in and what I like about Asda is they do small tins of mushy peas. As you know I'm not a great lover of mushy peas. I'll eat them if that's all that's on offer but as a rule of thumb I don't particularly like them. So I got two tins of this that means Carl like that would serve Carl, do you know what I mean? And there'd be nothing left where, yeah. Yeah, anyway, mushy peas, what can you say? Mushy peas are mushy peas. Now, I got two boxes of the Asda Cocoa Snaps. Now, I was looking at Aldi's. And the Aldi's is about half the size of this for the same price. This is 605 grams. Say how many bowls are in it. Some of them say that, don't they? How many bowls? You should get out of it. All right. So this says it has twenty servings in it. So it is quite a big box. So I got two of them again, just to keep in the press, keep everybody happy. Now I got these. These are the sticky rice. Carl loves sticky rice. I'm not a great lover of sticky rice, but I'd eat it. Um, we used to buy it in little pots, but they were like one thirty, one forty for a little pot. These were only a pound, so I got three bags of them, and that is the Tilda, Tilda, T I L D A, Tilda sticky rice, and it's served ninety, ready in ninety seconds. I think it only serves one. Anyway, so again, just to have, I have the boil in the bag rice in, all that. Sticky rice and it's in. I didn't buy that. So then I got one of my favourites, the semolina, ambrosia semolina. Now I have semolina in there that I can make up. I'm not a great, I wouldn't pick the tin over making some. But if I was poorly and I just wanted something nice and sweet on my stomach, I would go for the tin. So I bought myself a tin of semolina. Now I also, I love rice pudding, so I bought myself some ambrosia rice pudding, but this is sticky toffee flavour. So I just thought, yeah. I've never seen that down here. So I just thought, yeah, that'd be handy. Having that when I'm looking for something really sweet, that's what we'll have. So that is that part of the shop. Sorry, just came over to the table. We actually did get a four pack of yum yums, but we ate them watching the match last night. So there's one left. I did get the dog some of these, what are they called? Webox chub rolls. 
I'm trying them on these because the other food he was having he didn't like at all at all that was the oh the one that's all over TikTok and stuff you see a woman eating it Butterbox but it could be Butterbox he couldn't he didn't like them at all at all and the other one he gets is really really expensive so I thought even if I could get him onto these I'd be happy now he eats one of these a day it's 800 grams so he eats one of them a day plus dry food so he's a bit of a chunky monkey but um yeah this is the variety pack so I picked up two of those boxes one of them is still in my car because oh there was no need to bring it in I did get a tray now So I did get three cans. Um, I was over in Dominic's and they had no Pepsi. They haven't had for a while. So I decided to pick up uh, trays of 24 cans of the Pepsi Max. And this is probably going to put uh, this away for Christmas. And keep one out but put one away. So this one here is the normal Pepsi Max. 24 cans. And this one down here is the no caffeine Pepsi Max. Never seen that before. So I picked that up. And I also got, let me go over this side, a tray of the Tango Orange. Now, those three cans were £24. I'll put the equivalent up in Euro. Um, I didn't think it was a bad deal. So I was happy out with that. So then the final few items I got for As from Asda was, I had to get milk. Carl said there was no milk left. So that's a three litre of the milk it doesn't actually say the milk percentage on it anywhere so I'm not sure but that anyway is um a three litre of milk and I also got these these are two litres I think the two litres oh my god yeah two litres of the lacto free milk now these have to be kept in the fridge but the date on them if you, I don't know if I can get it to focus is the 23rd of the 10th so there's a month and a bit on those milks so I got three of them I'm going two out because Carl has the other one open um so I'm going to keep them in my fridge so that is the milk so I think his milk is fairly sorted I think we can all agree his milk is fairly sorted and then finally because it is a rugby weekend I got this for Sunday's dinner and this is the Indian style meal for two, chicken korma, chicken tikka masala, pillow rice, naan bread and onion bargees. So I thought that would be just a nice little treat as I said. Um, yeah, just something different to have. So this is the everything I got in Asda to restock my pantry and just things I couldn't get down here. So as you can see guys I actually got quite a good bit of stuff up in Asda. I have a bill here but I'm not sure if I think this covers everything and the total came to £70.50p so I'll put the equivalent up Um. actually yeah there might be another receipt around for one or two of the bits but nothing major um and that's what I got I thought I did quite well actually um I know that I'm actually dying to try the ambrosia the sticky toffee flavor I love um cream dries I love semolina I have semolina in the press but I just think it's a to me it was always you came in from school and it'd be the semolina be the maid and in the bowl if on a cold night you got a bowl of semolina or rice pudding for a dessert on a Sunday. That's to me what they just memories of them. And as I said, everything else then is just stocking up. So yeah, happy out. I as I said, there's certain things you can get up in Northern Ireland that you just can't get down here. Um and the variety I feel is a lot more than what you can get down here. So um yeah. I might actually look and see if I can see a Sainsbury's or something something else other than um, Asda the next time I go up to age probably be around Christmas time 
right guys i'm gonna leave it there and i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to give us a thumbs up and i will talk to you in my next one take care of yourselves bye bye